as he tells the story. Um, he wanted a shop that was really friendly, uh, that kind of encompassed all of the cycling lifestyle and everything that's great about Austin into a store and made it a real comfortable, relaxed place. They wanted the building to be downtown. Uh, Barton and Lance wanted, uh, it had to be the right, uh, the right structure in the right location. Um, I know that they, they looked uh, for quite a bit of time. It wasn't something that where they looked for a month and said, yeah, we found this building and it's going to be perfect. It was the process, I believe, went on a couple years. I think Lance would be the first to say, you know, if I wanted to do a bike shop, I could have done it long ago and could have had 100 locations and it could have really been different. But, it, it, you know, what he wanted was a showpiece and kind of one, you know, one place that really reflected what, what he thought was great. You know, you go all over downtown Austin and the, 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 the condominiums and buildings are sprawling up and uh, there's a lot of short trips to be made. Um, you know, uh, there's a 36-story condominium tower that's right next to our, our shop and those people use bikes for short errands and, and what we hope to do is to, to be able to, 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 to use those small battles, getting those people out on their bike to ride over to Whole Foods and buy their groceries and, and kind of slowly uh, integrate that on a wider scale. We offer a basic maintenance class uh, for people who want to come in and learn about working on their bike, fixing a flat, keeping it clean. Uh, for people that do work downtown, we have a commuter center here, uh, and so you can ride your bike down, uh, store your bike here during the day, shower, use the lockers, change your clothes, go to work, come back, get back on your bike and ride home. Um, so it's, it's something that we really want to try to break down the barriers, all the things that people put up when they say, oh, I can't do it, it's too hard, it's, too, it, it's our job to kind of, let, let's, let's all work together and figure out how to make that a lot easier. The training center downstairs that Kevin Livingston runs is called Pedal Hard, which allows you to, uh, to bring in your bike, attach it to a compu trainer and get a workout, all while uh, a guy that was one of Lance's teammates and rode ride, the Tour de France six times is, is giving you tips and pointers. In terms of how Austin has changed, you know, Austin, I moved here about 1997. Uh, it's changed dramatically. You even hear Lance talk about how much it's, it's, it's changed. But the good news is, is that I think the basic infrastructure to have a great cycling community was already here. We've got some, some really, really great rides that are good for beginners. They're a no-drop ride, uh, teach you basics of not only where to ride, but, but how to ride. Come out with us, let us show you around, we'll show you some safe routes, we'll show you some cool stuff that you can do on a bike. One of the ones that's been really well received is we uh, take people around to outdoor artwork in the, in the community. So it, it's more than just sometimes riding a bike, sometimes it's about uh, showing off Austin as well.